Hi, y'all. This is deck number two, The Magic of You Oracle Cards by Fiona Horn. Is it deck or cards? Oracle. It just says Oracle. By Fiona Horn. She's this lovely witch from Australia. Just, just go online and listen to her. She's so much fun. But anyway, she's created this lovely deck. And since the reading this year is all about us or you, me, whatever, then it's apropos. Anyway, y'all, I want you to learn that loving yourself is the most important thing you can do for those you love. You're like, what? No, because you can't fully love someone in the way they need to be loved. They need to be loved if you can't love yourself. Because for one thing, truly loving yourself means you set boundaries, but in you're not holding on to it too tight either. You're not holding on, you're making decisions out of love and not out of fear or control or so many other things. And that's why self-love is the most important thing you can do for anyone that you love, including yourself. So, First, we're going to pull a couple cards just in general. The first card we get for you is Oblivion. This is to open your arms. So I think y'all who picked this deck have been holding on too tight. You've been like, I can't do that. You, you are afraid of giving of yourself fully. But you're also afraid of giving to yourself because you're afraid that you will let yourself down. And yeah, I gotta tell you, we all let ourselves down. We all do things that are based upon selfish motives. We do things that we shouldn't have chosen to do. We make bad choices, that's just life. But guess what? We can also make good choices. We can also make choices that are positive if we're not holding on so tight but we're all gonna fail every single day. For example, I spent years being angry at my dogs for tinkling on my floor. I wasn't sure who did it, but almost every day I was cleaning up some tinkle. And I've tried yelling and I've tried creating them and all kinds of things. You know what worked? I mean, I've had three peeless days what has worked, in spite of everything, because it's freaking cold outside, it's like four degrees, is I locked them outside for about 15 minutes in the cold. And I, I timed it so I wouldn't go over my 15 minutes because I felt like that was cruel. But after like three or four times of doing that, guess what? They quit tinkling. They go outside now. Isn't that amazing? And that's setting a boundary and setting a reasonable punishment because they knew as soon as I came in and saw it, two of them would take off and go out back. They already knew it was coming. So, you know, you have to learn to set boundaries. That's part of being good to, to yourself. But when you set those boundaries in an amazing way, you're giving people a, a magic hug and you're hugging them because you're, you're loving them enough to say no. And that is not negative, that's good. The next card I get for y'all is Phenomenon. It says, be still and listen to the spirits. You have all the answers inside of you and your spirit guides have all the answers that you need, but you have to be willing to ask them and listen. Last night when I went to bed, I wasn't sure how this was going, this reading was going to be because I knew I wanted a Valentine's Day reading because I want to do a holiday reading every ho major holiday. But then I do, I do a love reading and a relationship reading once a month. So I'm like, how's that going to happen? And I went to bed last night not knowing and this morning I woke up and I knew. And normally I only pick three decks and today I pick four because I felt that it was right. That's what my spirit guides were telling me. So anyway, now let's look. February to March, we get translucence. It says to love the darkness. You're going, huh? That's not saying go get into dark magic. 
It's saying, look inside of you to those shadow places and let those heal. Let them up. Say that you have a hard time sharing of something about you. It's been really hard for me to share with y'all that I plan to move to Louisiana. Because by putting it out there, that means I have to trust that it will happen because otherwise I look silly. And that's, but that fear of looking silly comes from my family of origin, of being told that my dreams don't matter and that they were too big. And so trusting someone with my, my dream it's like giving them a little plant that's just starting to peek up from the ground and it's going to blossom. But that trust came from people not being trustworthy. But guess what? People are always gonna let us down, but we have to choose to take the risk because if we don't risk, we never really love. Okay, April and May, it's this flashover and it says it's all in your head. So during April and May, you need to, well, February, March, you're doing the shadow work. And in April and May, when you start hearing those little voices in your head, which we all hear are like, don't do this. And we're like, why? You need to stop in April and May and go, why should I listen to that voice? Because sometimes the voice is your intuition and sometimes it's, those lies that we've been carrying with us our entire life because of the people that hurt us. Yeah. Okay, June and July. It says effervescence, cultivate love. So you're supposed to be doing the work, learning to trust yourself, and then you're going to learn to love yourself. Because the more you do that shadow work and get the healing, the more you're going to start to feel that self-love. And that's really important. August and September, this is honor yourself. So first you're learning to do the shadow work. You're learning to trust yourself. You're learning to love yourself. And now you need to honor yourself. Now, what's the difference in love and honor? Well, love is that feeling of I'm worthy. Honoring yourself is acting upon that feeling. That's not letting anyone put you down anymore. That's saying, no, I don't deserve that bullshit. I deserve to be treated well. So honor yourself. Love yourself. October, November. This is, it says, to get everything in perfect balance. I think part of that's coming up for y'all because maybe you tend to go a little overboard at Christmas, just a little bit, and you need to find that balance in there. Stop going overboard. I used to have these humongous Christmases for my kids. I mean, everything from July 1st on that they needed, like socks or underwear or whatever, I bought them, put it up, and I wrapped it. So there'd be like 30 presents under the tree for everybody, but maybe only 15 were really good presents. And then one year, my son opened socks a few days early because I let him open presents a few days early because there were so many. <coughs> And the little jerk threw a hissy fit. I know, I'm socks, or whatever it was. It might have been underwear. But they were Ninja Turtle underwear, you know? And so, that was my last big Christmas. Because I'm like, I'm not doing this shit again. I worked too hard every year to give y'all this crazy Christmas that you've grown accustomed to for what? And my, and my kids didn't know. Years later, they asked me why it had stopped, and I had to tell them. So I think that this card is saying that you need to have that balance at Christmas or Hanukkah or winter solstice or Kwanzaa or whatever holiday it is that you practice. But find balance. Don't lose yourself in this. You've been working too hard this year to find yourself to lose yourself again. And then in December and January, tangibility. And it says, make, no, yeah, December, make your dreams real. So all the year you're working towards making your dreams come true by learning shadow work, self-trust, self-love, self-honor, balance, 
All of these work together to make you the best you you can be. And finally, I'm gonna pull one more card. And this also says Umbutu, compassion for others. So while you're finding yourself in here, still recognize the compassion that you need to have for others. We all need to have compassion for others because as we are growing ourselves, sometimes we lose sight of the people around us. That doesn't mean you let them take advantage of you. That doesn't mean you're mean. It just means you have to have compassion and you have to look inside of yourself and find your right answers. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel.